Come with me while I try the world's strongest chemical peel to remove my freckles. This is my skin before. As you can see, I've got melasma on my lip and some sunspots and pigmentation. The actual peel only takes 15 minutes to apply, but it needs to stay on for 12 hours and it didn't take long before it started to burn. I was really gentle removing it because I was already feeling burnt and swollen and my skin had already started to peel off. This is a two week journey, so follow along if you wanna see day two results. It is day two of removing my freckles. I woke up really sore and swollen, especially under my eyes and around my mouth. I'm also starting to peel on the top of my forehead. If you're new here, hi, I'm Dune, founder and host of the Female Startup Club podcast. And this is my two week skin journey to removing my freckles and sunspots. This is day three of removing my freckles. I feel like we don't have a dramatic change. I'm still kind of burnt and less swollen, but I'm lightly starting to peel. I've also adopted an umbrella for going outside. Someone actually recommended an antihistamine and that helped a lot. Putting the cream on though was actually kind of painful. It stung a lot. This is day four of removing my freckles. We have a light top layer of peeling in full swing. The melasma on my lip has lightened, but not these sunspots. And my forehead hasn't started yet, so I look like cling wrap. The thing is that it's so freaking itchy and I just really want to peel this off, but you're really not meant to. So I've started cutting them off just with some little scissors and yeah, gross. This is day five of removing my freckles. The skin in my bed this morning was pretty gross, but it's all in full swing. Someone gave me a tip to take an antihistamine and that definitely helped with the itching. I didn't realise that this was like a two week process to remove freckles and I didn't know that you could remove removing freckles was a thing. Well, this is all news to me. <laughs> I mean, obviously that, that thing that was applied to the face only took uh, 15 minutes for long, but it was for 12 hours. And once it uh, come off, obviously she's uh, been in the last few days of uh, intensive peeling on her skin on the face. Obviously if it's a two week process, you're gonna feel slightly self-conscious, if not more, uh, self-conscious over that two week period but it's what you've got to go through if you want uh, all your freckles to go so you, you've got to commend for this woman for actually uh, one deciding to get this done and two actually going ahead through with it properly and listening to all the advice taking the antihistamines uh, cutting instead of peeling and um, yeah fair play to her it's day six of removing my freckles and we have a serious problem. They give you this cream to apply twice a day for the next six months, which is meant to keep bringing all the sun damage to the top so it can peel off, but it is so orange and my face just looks absolutely ridiculous. Someone did give me a good tip to try for tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. I feel like we can't see a lot of results yet, but the first stage of all my top layers peeling off is almost done, so we are making good progress. Whoever said they didn't peel the skin off is lying. It is almost impossible not to pick, but I am trying. This is day seven of removing my freckles. I look and feel like a lizard. The twice daily cream I'm using is bringing all my sun damage to the top of my skin. So I feel like I'm looking kind of bad, especially the melasma under my eye and on my lip. It is wild. This was just after I woke up and this is post shower. It's day eight of removing my freckles and look at this progress. I'm leaving the house looking less orange today for my follow up appointment at the clinic to talk through my results and where we're at. We started off doing some laser and these neon lights are so much fun. So on brand for Female Startup Club. This is day nine for removing my freckles. We're in the stage where every day my skin is burning, but I'm actually kind of amazed by the results. At this point, I'm still gonna peel twice a day, but we're getting there. This is day 10 of removing my freckles with a daily breakdown. I went from super swollen, super puffy, to burnt, to peeling. The peeling was worst around my lips and mouth, but you can start seeing the skin underneath, which is shining through. Welcome by day nine, day 10. She is starting to see and feel and enjoy the results that she's getting from sticking to the process from the past week or so. But, you know, it is a hard process not to peel because if, you know, your face is, you know, really peely and looks itchy and burning, it's gonna be hard to resist. And now she's getting the rewards and she's seeing the results that that's what she wanted. And she's gonna feel super happy um, about it come the end of the, uh, the, the two week period. You were following along this series where I removed my freckles. This is me checking back in with an update. It's been a couple of weeks and I have a lot of thoughts to share. So these are before and after pictures that were taken a couple of weeks ago. And 
I mean, lots of freckles, melasma around my lip, on my nose, under my eye, eh, like around there. And here you can see under my eye, it's like really pretty much gone. My nose still has some melasma, but especially across my lip here, this was like a huge difference for me. And the same thing on these bottom two. I feel like you can see my complexion and, and my skin just looks really epic. The main question I've been asked since is just whether I'm happy with the results and would I do it again? And the answer is yes. I'm super happy with the results. I would definitely do it again. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who has melasma and isn't able to do things like IPL or BBL. At the end of um, the results, you can tell her skin has gone through a complete transformation. So I'm super happy for uh, um, in that regard. My only concern is um, if is there a chance, because I'm not sure myself, is there a chance that these freckles will ever come back in the future or in say, let's say maybe five years. But for now, um, it's definitely paid off and you can tell she's super, I mean, she said that she's super happy herself, so um, good for her, really happy for her.